We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well, Jared. Doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Hey, it's a new tradition. It's good tradition. New tradition, good tradition. Nope. I, I kind of... Nah, it still went through. It still went through. And I got it everywhere, and that's okay. That's okay. Hey, what are we talking about? What are we talking about today, Jared? We, uh, this is a big undertaking. Big old undertaking. We're tier listing 30 years, 30 years of Ohio State football. But before we do that, Jared. Yeah. Just want to say right out the top here, uh, new commitment for Ohio State 2025 class. If you've been listening to any of any of our projections or our um yeah any of our previous projections here uh you might have heard the name uh, Isaiah West out of Philadelphia yeah he is he is now uh committed to the scarlet and gray for next year that is correct um i will say this i think the last time we actually did the mock I had I didn't think I had him in the mock because I was hesitant at that time to have three running backs. Uh, no, uh, East Philadelphia. Nice. Nice try, though. Um, which is also where the Fresh Prince is from. You're 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 misremember or. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. You said Philadelphia, not Pennsylvania. I have actually I have no idea where the high school is. No idea. Moving forward. Um Um, I did not have him in the mock. I didn't have him in the mock because I was really hesitant to put three running backs in that mock. Um, I, if, but if you follow, we, we have a live mock constantly running in the discord server where I will update them as, as, as I see fit. We probably only do a mock episode once every two months, but you know, the, the mock class is constantly rolling in the discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com. Um, always be plugging. I did add him as a third running back into the mock class since. Um, so yeah, th I, I still have, um, not Byron Lewis. Um, I don't have Byron Lewis in the class. I, I have, uh, Jordan Davison from, uh, from California in the mock still. I do have, this as a third or as a three running back class as, as we're currently standing. That's, that's my, that's my take on it. Oh, and, and right. Kyle also, <laughs> uh, Quincy Porter wide receiver who was in the mock the last time we did a mock is also committed since the last time we have, uh, talked to everybody. That's right. Yes, that's right. Uh, right, let's, which let's, is the guy that Michigan thought they had, but then he committed to Kentucky. Uh, his name's going to escape me at the moment, but he's uh, an Ohio kid, I believe, in, from the Cincinnati area. His name's escaping me. He's a very good running back. Um, very good running back. Just not lining up with him in Ohio State. All right, Kyle, are you ready to get to the tier list? Uh yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and start it off. So as Jared mentioned at the top of the show here, 30 years. We're gonna grade the last 30 years of Ohio State football seasons here. So Jared and I have this really fancy Excel sheet that none of you can see here. And no, that's that's super duper private stuff. Yes. Put in here records, preseason AP poll, end of year AP poll, best wins, worst losses, um, and, other, and other things in there too. And we're going to use all that data. We're going to go year by year, rank these from S tier to F tier. I have bad news and for everyone listening who have, hasn't done the math yet. 30 years ago was in fact 1995. Yes. If that's upsetting, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's a fact 
<laughs> All right, Kyle. Um, I assume we're going to start in 1995. Yes, of course. Let's let's start from 30 years ago. 1995 was 30 years ago. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> should we actually be starting with? Uh, wait a minute. You have 1994 at the beginning. We should be starting with 1994, right? I messed up. We uh, should. You're right. I messed this up. That's fine. That's okay. That's fine. It's okay. Don't don't anyone panic. No one <laughs> panic. There we go. Fixed. All right. Kyle, tell us a little bit about the 1994 season. Sure. Um talented talented team here. Uh start started off preseason AP 20th. So Okay. Not off, super uh, high yeah, started, expectations. Not super high, but this this was the start of the turnaround for for the Cooper era here because those first years were not good. They were they were not good years uh, for uh, state football here. But I, th I think they got they turned things around here. Um, ended was, up the season was Forrest Gump best picture of nineteen ninety four ninety four? By the way, great movie year. But we're not going to get stuck on that side on that. But yeah, there's for, we got thirty we got thirty teams here. We have premier to, year in the in the year of movies, nineteen ninety four. But please, Kyle, tell us about Ohio State's nineteen ninety four. Nine and four finish. Nine and four best wins. Beat the team up north, and they beat Pitt. That's a hell of a that's a hell of an achievement for the Cooper years. Mm -hmm, is yeah. that is that but, the year we destroyed Pitt? Was that was that the Pitt embarrassment season? With, scored like 60 points on him or something stupid like that? Uh, I am pulling it up real quick here. Uh, they. Mark Millen villain origin story. Yes. Let's Mark see May, here. not Mark Millen. Mark no, May. nope. This was 27 to three. Nope. They won okay. 27 to three. I think it was, I think it was the next year, the following year after that. We'll, we'll, fit, we'll, we'll, we'll identify it when we get there. Either way, so three, their three season or their three regular season losses was on the road to Husky Stadium in Washington. Uh, they lost at home to Illinois and probably the worst loss um, against number one Penn State. And it wasn't so much that they lost at, at, Penn, at Penn State, but they lost 63 to 14. Yeah, it was it was a one of the worst losses that I that I can remember at as an Ohio in my lifetime that Ohio State has lost. Like I've never seen that kind of butt whooping. And that that Penn State team was incredibly good. You know, we, mm -hmm. we talked a little we talked to a couple was it just last it was a couple weeks ago. We talked about we talked a lot about how the postseason used to work and how in 1994 was a travesty that we didn't get to see Nebraska and Penn state play each other. Mm -hmm. This was that team. Like this was an yeah. elite Penn state football team. Yep. Is 1994, the Penn state high water mark. Yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. That's it probably was. it's, it's the best Penn state has been in my lifetime mm -hmm. was 1994. Yep. And then their, their, their fourth loss was against Alabama and the citrus bowl. And they lost by seven there. Um, and, and other notes for this. Did not win the Big this, Ten, uh, in case you didn't say that. Yep, did not win the Big Ten here. Um, Orlando Pace, fun fact, Orlando Pace was freshman of the year for in the Big Ten. Just wanted to state that out. So I'd say given. And Corey Stringer was consensus All-American. Yeah, I would say I would say this team probably a C. I'd say a C tier. I'm I'm almost borderline B I, because I think you, expectations you, you think I think expectations have to matter. Mm -hmm. Um, this was a rebound that they. Okay, I think a very important factor into this is they started the AP twenty at twenty. They ended at fourteen. The Penn, Ohio State was not very good at football up until this point. I think we have to count expectations, and I think we have to count momentum. I, okay. I would say right, I'm, I'm, this is very solidly a B. Okay, I'm fine with a B. 
I'm fine with the B. We'll, we'll move on here a little bit quicker here because we got 29 to go. Uh, okay. 1995, 95, um, oh, in 94, they ended the year uh, ranked 14th. So better than what they did um, preseason. 1995, team they, went 11 and 2, and preseason, preseason started 12th and ended the season uh, ranked 6th. Pretty good. Beat a crap ton. Beat a crap ton of teams in the top twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six teams in the top twenty-five. But they did lose in their only regular season loss to Michigan, which then resulted in them not winning the Big Ten title as well. And then they lost six points to Tennessee in the Citrus Bowl. Um, mm-hmm. And and this was such a such a talented team here this was when eddie won the heisman uh glenn won the uh um the uh light and golf if i can talk uh award and pace <laughs> won the lombardi yep and pace won the lombardi yeah and all three well uh george and pace were unanimous all-american glenn was a consensus all-american um you finish the year in the you, you finish you take you say so you take your momentum from ninety four, you build on it, you you finish the year top ten, you don't beat Michigan, which sucks obviously, um, you win three major awards, three major All Americans, um, actually won. Actually, won five major awards because Eddie also got the camp and the Doak Walker. Um, I can never keep straight when Terry Glenn played versus when Joey Galloway played. Uh, Galloway came next, I believe. Um, I'm, I'm kind of torn here. I, I, this I almost is, there's say- such a, a bunch of high highs here, but some low lows as well. Mm hmm. I almost want to put this. I'm on that border of B and A tier just because of how talented this team was. But I'm good with A tier. You, you lose. You, you you lose that critical. You lose that critical game against your rival, and you don't win the Big Ten. You don't go to the Rose Bowl. But I'm I'm fine putting in the A tier. Again, expectations matter, and. Yep. This is a well, at then, this point a building team. Yep. Well, next year is expectations very high, very high in, in 96 here. Uh preseason ranked ninth. They go eleven and one, finish the season as ranked two. They have wins over number five Notre Dame, number four Penn State, number twenty Iowa. But again, you, you lose to you lose to Michigan that year. But they do win a a share in the Big Ten title, and they do get the Rose Bowl victory over Arizona State, who was very good. Um, I know if, if you're younger and you hear Arizona State, you might want to like laugh that off. But Arizona State was very good that year. Um, uh, Jake Plummer was their quarterback. If anyone here is old enough to remember Jake Plummer. Um, yeah, I mean, the one blemish on this, I mean, this, this is an S tier season, except that they lost to Michigan. So, which also this in a, yeah, I mean, they, you know, they could have won the national title that year. They were a game away from winning the national title. It, it is what it is. Uh, and unfortunately that loss came to Michigan, which, In any other situation, we'd probably not even question putting them in A tier, but it's Michigan. So you do have to question putting them in A tier, but yeah. Yep. All right. 97 here. My aunt had Uh, a sweater from that Rose Bowl. I have a vivid mental picture of it for some reason. It's weird what we hold on to. So the first first three here that we just graded started preseason, end of the season, and ranked higher in AP than they did in the preseason. Moving, uh, higher as in worse. This. No, better. They bet they did better at the end than they did at preseason. 
in the 94 or 5 and 6 season. Oh, okay. But in the 97, I'm sorry. Se- 97 I see what you're season, now. in the 97 season, they started preseason 9, but finished 12th. And that's because the team ended up going 10 and 3 that year. Pretty tough schedule. They yeah. played, uh, they their two losses in regular season was against at Penn State, who was ranked number two, and at Michigan, who was ranked number one. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the season there. Those were their two losses. They did have wins over 11th ranked Iowa, 12th or 21st ranked Penn State. But here's a season without a, another Big Ten title and did not look good in the in the Sugar Bowl that year as well. Hooper was a menace, so, but not but not the good kind. Yeah, I would I would say this one is probably the um Gosh, it's tough because your 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 three losses were against number one, number two, and number four teams. I almost kind of just want to put how, this in the B tier. How 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 bad were the losses to Penn State and Michigan? Four points to Penn State, six points to Michigan. I mean, you're you're, you're right there. You were right there. Yeah, it, that and and, and, that and, and, and Jared doesn't. Get, and Jared doesn't care for the uh, for the I, bowl games, so about, you, you just you just look at the. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm good with the B tier there. I'm good. All right. Uh, 98, Jared. 98. Every 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 Buckeye fan better just take a deep breath and just meditate for the 98 here. Preseason number one. End of the year number two. Go 11 and one in this year. You beat Michigan, you beat 11th or you beat 11th West Virginia, 21 Missouri, number seven Penn State, and Michigan was tw- uh, num- number 11 that year. But, but Saban does, but Saban does things here and leads the Spartans to beat Michigan or beat Ohio State that year and Ohio State's only loss of the year. Yeah, beats Michigan, beats Michigan this year wins the big 10 or yep. a share of the big 10 this year. And you get a victory in the sugar ball over Texas A&M. Remember a couple of years ago, Kyle, when we talk about, um, when we talk about the, how the postseason used to basically suck and be non-existent. Mm-hmm. Ohio state did not get to go to the Rose bowl that year because they shared the big 10 title with Northwestern. And Who back gone then there the long, Back then, the tiebreaker for who got to go to the Rose Bowl in the case of a in the case of a tie was who hasn't gotten to go in the longest. That's terrible. Oh, you you Northwestern hasn't got to go to the Rose Bowl in a while. Therefore, they win. The, who who ended up winning the national title that year? Because I mean, Ohio State still finishes number two that year. The most Big Ten tiebreaker I've ever heard. Yeah, the, Tennessee. The old, Tennessee. Uh, that, Tennessee won, and Ricky Ricky Williams was the Heisman that year. And by the way, things I remember: T. Martin was the quarterback. A lot of people think it was Peyton Manning. It, he wasn't. Peyton Manning was uh, uh, in with the Colts at this point. But Kyle, like, we could have. We could have had Ohio State versus Tennessee for the mm-hmm. national title, but we didn't get it. Yep. You're right. You're right. Even though they didn't even though they did not get a national title here, I, I want to put this as an S tier. I, I really do want to put this as an S tier team. Because 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 if you if you don't put this as S tier team, you're only going to have two teams. You're only going to have you will only have two teams. In the S tier. I, is that wrong? You might, I, as, well, you might as well, if, if you're going to do that, you might as well name the S tier. Did you win the national title? I mean, but isn't that, shouldn't that be the expectation? All right, I'll. I'll, I'll I'll give him. No, it's the 98, 98, oh. not 99. Did I not make a 98? 
man, how am I so bad at this? There we are. All right. 98, All right. we'll put him in S tier. All right, 99, Jared. Oh, <laughs> we, may, Listen, we may have the our only first, reason uh, I'm giving in on is because they should have played for a national title. They finished second. They should have had an opportunity. If this mm. if this were literally two years, the, the Big Ten, the Big Ten screwed year. them. They, they should have gone to the Rose Bowl and they didn't. Well, do, it doesn't matter because they still wouldn't have got to play Tennessee. Yeah, true. All right. Uh, we were only a few years away from the BCS on this. Right, I'm going to move tragedy. Quickly. I'm going to move quick at the 99 because 99 is an F t- is an F tier. Preseason ranked nine, end of the year not ranked. Ended up going six and six. They did they did have wins over 14th UCLA, 18 Purdue, number 24 Minnesota, but lost to unranked Wisconsin, unranked Illinois, and then you did lose to Michigan. Did not go to a bowl game at all. So 99 F tier. Your your preseason nine and you go six and six. That's the definition of F tier. By the way, um, Zach in the chat was making the case for 99 being S tier. Um, 98. Excuse me, 98 being S tier. Um, we he, he goes, you had Cooper still beat Michigan. That matters, especially in that time. And you were only one year away from the BCS, in which case that team would have played for the national title. Yeah. That's God. I, I was already mad at 98. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, moving on Kyle, to, to before, before we uh, enter the new millennia and yes, technically the 2001 right. is a new millennia. Don't, don't just don't we're moving to new millennia. We have to take an ad break. Um, if you want to avoid these ads, you can get the ad free version of the show at patreon.thesloopcast.com. You can become a member for uh, only $3 a month, which you can get a 12 month subscription and get one of those months free essentially. Um, so yeah, you can do that. Uh, and if you don't want to support us that way, you can also visit our t-shirt stores. Uh, one is merch.thesloopcast.com, which is sloopcast based stuff. And then there's 7071.thesloopcast.com, which is just sort of like general Ohio merchandise if you don't want to wear like podcasty stuff. So uh, you can find all of these links at thesloopcast.com. Uh, here are those ads now. All right, Kyle, let's get, yes, technically 2001 was the millennia, but no one wants right, to recognize 2000. that fact. 2000. 2000. Ohio State coming preseason 16th. Finished the season eight and four, resulting in a non-ranked at the end of the year here. You beat your best win is number 24, Wisconsin. And um you had your worst losses were Minnesota, and you do lose to Michigan that year as well. So you're going back to back years, losing to Michigan, not winning the big title, and you're pretty much a no show again in the outback bowl there. And Cooper's fired. And Cooper's fired. I, Keep this in I C. Put this like, I want to put this like in D because it's not I don't, bad wait, level I don't, as I don't 99. Have, I don't have a D. Yeah, I know. So C is C is fine. I you could you could persuade me to F because they went eight and four that year, but lost to Michigan, lost oh. to South Carolina in the bowl game. Not that the bowl game matters. Mm-hmm. Um, no all Americans, no major awards. Nothing. It, it was kind of just a. I'm yeah, going to keep it that, in C that, instead of F because at the very least it got rid of John Cooper. True. And that All has right. to in, count for something. Yeah. All right. In comes the sweater fest, the sweater vest here. Oh, one season coming in preseason 23 and up the season, not ranked. Uh, finished the season seven, five, just above 500. Uh, worst losses were unranked Wisconsin, unranked Penn State, but you do have wins over ranked number 14 Northwestern and fulfilling that promise in that January speech, beating Michigan. And then playing South Carolina again in the was Outback more Bowl? Competitive again? Was more competitive? Again? But was more competitive. Kyle, do, do we dare put this at B just for 
the fact that they beat no. Michigan? No, no, no. It's it's, it's a it's much better one, C. It, it's one it's one more win than the '99 season, and that win is over Michigan, which makes it jump up from F to C tier. Well, I didn't put I didn't put OO in I, in F tier, but I know. But the OO had had a better record than the O one. Is what I was trying to get at. Oh, I, but, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. All right. O2. O2. We don't got to tell mean, you guys. I, I, we, we don't have to. That's that's. We don't that's have tier. to waste time I on this. Need... National title, Maurice Claret, um, beat Michigan, go 14-0, and 0, beat a Miami I team that know... everyone thought was invincible. I, well, one thing I do want to note here, this is the first time in all these rankings here, Ohio State has a has a um wins the Big Ten outright. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there there were two shares in 96 and 98, but this is the first outright win of the Big Ten. Um for the youngins listening, there is no Big Ten conference game yet. Um so you're still in the realm of ties. Um you have yep. three uh at least consensus or yeah, uh, consensus all Americans and Claret one freshman of the year. Um, incredible season S tier. Let's move forward. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, Oh, three season. You start off the season ranked two, end of the season. That's four. You go 11 and two, a bunch of victories over, over ranked teams, Washington, NC state, Iowa, Michigan state, Purdue, but uh, you do have losses over ranked Wisconsin and ranked Michigan. So no, did not beat the, um, did not beat Michigan, did not win the Big Ten title. You do get the victory in the Fiesta Bowl, which comes to be um, uh, almost home away a, from home. Home away from home for Ohio State here uh, against Kansas State here. I'd probably put this in, gosh. I mean, you I, still finish. I'd, I'd still, probably put B tier. You lose, you lose to Michigan. It's Tress's only loss to Michigan, um, but they still finished the year fourth. So I mean, I, I I think B is the right spot. Um. Yeah, I think B is the right spot for it. All right. Um. Where am oh, I four. At here? Oh four. Start off preseason ninth, end up the season twentieth. Go eight and four. You you had some, you had some nasty nasty losses in 04 here. Um, some high expectations here did not go the way you wanted to. They they ended up in their first six games. They 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 win their first three, then they lose three straight to Northwestern, Wisconsin, and Iowa. And then they lose to Purdue later on in the in the um in this season, but they do get the victory over Michigan at the end of the year to, uh, um, for spoils against Michigan there. Uh, I mean, you, 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 you still come into the season, a preseason top 10 and you fell apart. Yeah. I'd say I'm having I'd trouble say, remembering this is, this is the 04 season, Kyle, were there injury? Like, why did they go on a three-game slide? Were there injuries? Uh, I, I'm having a hard time remembering. Um, I it, we don't have time to look at. I don't know. We don't yeah, have time. To I, look I it can't remember. I can't remember offhand. But, but I mean, yeah, based I, off I of expectations, you. this feels F territory. I mean, well, this you was beat Michigan. This though. was a. I th this was the season when you had the two quarterback uh, Zwick and Troy Smith. Was that this season? That was, that I was thought 04. that was. Yep. That was 04. Okay. I'm going to trust you. I, I could have sworn that I'm was 05. I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking I trust you. I trust you. Right, I trust 05. you. I trust you. <laughs> All right. 05. Start of the season. 06. Well, wait, 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 what's, what's, where are we putting 04? C. C. Okay. C tier. Uh, 05 start of the season preseason six end of the season fourth you go 10 and two 
Um, okay. This is this is the this is the year that you have the home home against Texas. Year one against Texas, they lose. They also lose to 18th Penn State, but you beat Michigan. And you have uh, three more top 25 victories in the season as well. So you beat Michigan. You have a share of the Big Ten title, but you go to the Fiesta Bowl and you get that uh, victory over Notre Dame and all those sweet, sweet long passes to Ted Ginn Jr. that I love seeing there. Yeah, this was the so famous I, I, uh, AJ Hawk and Brady Quinn bowl game. It was Hawk won the Lombardi um, is a unanimous all American. Um, finished yeah. the season in the top five. I, I'm willing to say, I guess, eight tier, right? Yeah. If you if you start, if you start Smith, we'd beat Texas. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, yeah, <laughs> that argument can be made. Um, yeah. You have to remember that that was Vince Young's coming out party. That was. Um, he got his Heisman moment right away. I mean, they, they got that right at the end there. I mean, they scored. Yeah, they, they scored nine hundred nine. Nine points at the end at, in that fourth quarter to to come out on top there. But yeah, A tier, very very talented team. Yes. All right, oh six preseason one. You had all of this hype. This reminds me so much of like the ninety five season. You come in highly great, ranked, great team, Heisman winner, f- f- destroyed by Florida in the ball game. I and we yeah. cannot put this in S tier. You lose 41 to 14 in a yep, game that somehow looked worse. It, 41 to 14 does not tell the story of how you, bad you Ohio State lost off, that. You only scored seven offensive points. Yeah. Uh, it's such an amazing, such a great year that just ended. Like this was an A, this was an S tier regular season. Yes, absolutely. Um, and it just fell apart in the in the title game yeah a yeah, tier I'm, I'm good with that all right oh yeah. seven all right oh seven you you got troy smith is out in comes um oh why am i, why am I drawing a blank um in comes well um beckman beckman and and um Bozerman were the quarterbacks that year. Yeah. Uh, 11th preseason finished fifth. So higher, higher expectations here or higher finish. Um, well, we finished 11 and one year before. Yeah. Yes. Uh, went 11, one in the pre in the um, regular season, uh, four top 25 wins over Purdue, Penn state, Wisconsin, and Michigan. This was uh, four years in a row of beating Michigan, but they do lose that game against Illinois, but they do make it to the BCS title where they lose by double digits to LSU this time. And it wasn't nearly as bad as the Florida game, but I will say that it felt a lot worse than the 24 to 38. Like it felt worse than 14 points. Mm -hmm. It felt worse than 14 points. It didn't feel like we were really ever in that game. Um, well, I mean, it was, ten, it was 10, three, it was 10 to three at the end of the first quarter, but then LSU scored three touchdowns in that second quarter and right. how state just couldn't, couldn't score enough in that second. I'm, half. I'm Kyle. If the best thing you can say to that is it was just 10 to three at the end of the first quarter. That, that doesn't, that, if that's, if that's your, <laughs> if that's your defense of that game, I mean, sometimes it's just 10 to three when Ohio State plays Akron yeah. at, at the end of the first Ohio State, quarter. Ohio like, State started off 10, 10 and 0 to start the start the um, uh, start the game. But then LSU went on a 31 to nothing run. Yeah. There it was. Yeah. Um, B. Yeah, I'm good with B tier. Yeah. Um, this was an S tier college football season in general. Like this the team chaos 
got an S tier. Like yeah. Ohio State had no business being in that national title game. If you look at where Ohio State was with two or three games left in that season, then they had no business ever being in this national title game. That's just chaos was never so fat and that, so that, happy. That was, 07, that was the year that there needs to be a document. What's that? That, that was the year you did not want to be number two. I was I was looking yeah. at this. 07 was called the curse of the number two. USC, law, all, like almost all of these, t- almost all lost to unranked teams. USC lost to Stanford. Cal lost to Oregon State. South Florida was ranked number two. And they lost to Rutgers. Boston College lost. Oregon lost. Kansas lost. West, West Virginia lost. Oh, yeah. This, this was the most chaotic season ever and isn't this also the this is the appy state year too isn't it 2007 Um, or was that 06 i think that was 07 okay um again this is maybe the one of the most entertaining years of college football ever It Uh, it was one of the most chaotic like Team Team Chaos had an S tier season in 07. But Ohio State yeah. had a B B tier. All right. Oh wait. Started off the season um ranked number two. High expectations coming into the 08 season. Back to back national title um appearances. But finished this season um ranked ninth with a 10 and 3 um with a yeah, ten and three um uh record. Um they beat Wisconsin, Michigan State, top twenty five, but you do lose to number one USC, which was not a contest. It was not a I don't know what the final out, but I don't know what the final score is. Three to thirty five. I'm sorry, say it again. Three to thirty five. Yeah, that and it, it looked that bad too. Yeah. If not and worse. And you lost to number and you lost to Number three, Penn State in a good old Big Ten score, six to th- 13. Yeah. Uh, then you lose a close one to Texas in the Fiesta. Um, whatever. I, I, you know, they still finish in the top 10, but to me, the Trestle era. Th- this is this is when the. This is when the shine came off the trestle era. You had not only did you lose back to back. Ohio State was an S tier program. In 02, Ohio State graduated itself up to an S tier program. You lose bad to Florida. Okay, like any given Saturday, like shit happens, right? You don't Mm -hmm. you're not super competitive against LSU. And then you just. For the and then for the third straight year, this time it was at the beginning of the season. So you're fresh off of the LSU loss. You turn around, you come back for a new season, and then you were just straight up non-competitive against USC. Like Ohio State fell from an S-tier program that day. If they were one, yep. which they might not have been, maybe we were kidding ourselves. But if they if they still were. That that night against LSU, excuse me, against USC, we learned that Ohio State was not an S tier program anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, which is devastating. And Ohio State still oh, finishes okay. in the top ten. They win a share of the Big Ten. Um, they, they did. They did blow up. They did blow up Michigan that year, forty-two to seven. These Michigan teams. Wells, these Michigan teams that, that suck. Like, right. These, these Michigan teams are that, terrible. That was that long run that we've seen Beanie Wells had against Michigan. Yeah. That was that was one. I think he had a pair of those. That was one of those years. Um, so yeah, oh wait, I'm fine. With Jenkins and Laurinaitis are all Americans this year. Um, I don't know, Kyle. I I kind of want to put it at C tier. I'm, I'm good with C tier there. All right, oh nine, oh nine. Started the preseason six. End of the season fifth, so about the same, a little bit better. Uh, 
finish the season 11 and 2 um wins over 11 Penn State 11 Iowa but you lose to Penn or you lose to USC again and you lose to Purdue is is this is this that is that that is this that Purdue year here yep, it's not at at Purdue yeah well, it's not that Purdue year but yeah it's <laughs> that Purdue year happens under Urban Meyer in my opinion uh but this is a Purdue year um yeah again like we're finishing the top five. That's great. But again, you just lose to USC and that it was at least competitive this time. It was a last second loss, but you lost second straight year to USC. I, I don't know. You still finish in the top five. You still beat Michigan. I say, put it in B tier. I agree. And and you had that. Uh, a lot of people will remember this Rose Bowl because of how Pryor played against Oregon in the Rose Bowl. Um, definitely, definitely a, a highlight of the season. And I know you don't care for the bowl games, but this was a high. This was definitely a highlight for uh, for Buckeye fans watching Pryor play. So, yeah, I put B tier. Kyle, we're going to hit the 2010s before we hit the 2010s. We're going to do another ad break. Um, if you want to avoid these ads, go to patreon.thesloopcast.com. All right, Kyle, back from the ad break. Um, Kyle, we still have a long way to go. We're going to, we don't have to do as many history lessons, so we should be able to get through these yep. a little bit quicker. But yeah, 2010, let's let's hit it. All right, 20, 2010, start off preseason two, finish off fifth. Um, you go 11 and one. I put an asterisk here, but in our, in our, in our minds, they went 11 and one. Yeah, the asterisks are because... This is the year that the tats and all that shit happened. So technically m- m- all of the wins were vacated. Um, As of now, yes. They're not going to get unvacated. Remember, we lost those. We lost those not because of the tattoo money, but because Jim Trestle lied. I know. I know. All right. Um, you beat Miami. You beat Iowa. Top 25 when Miami wasn't and good. your only law lo- your only loss was against 18th of Wisconsin there was a lot of talks about getting this team into um into that championship um into that championship game but everybody kept talking about oh they they just they're just going to lose they can't they can't they can't win in um a championship game SEC 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 blah 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 all of that too that that was that was that year and and they went on to play Arkansas in the Sugar Bowl and, and beat them. Where do you want to play? I'd say this is this is A. I, I think this was A. Uh very, very talented team. Very talented team. They um I, I was trying to find the score real quick of the No All Americans. No. And they had a three, four year All American drought from Oh nine, until it was broken. Yeah, Cam- Cameron Cameron Hayward, who was a who was a first round pick, and uh, Chekma they went all the way from there too. They went all the way from Jenkins and Laurinaitis in two thousand and eight, and they didn't get another uh, either unanimous or consensus All American until two thousand fourteen with Joey Bosa. Wild. All right. Um, yeah. Where where um, ten, uh, eleven? Yeah. Right, they go 11. undefeated. Go. No, right. the, no, no, no. This is the forgotten year. I see. I forgot yep, it. 11, forgotten 11, yep. F. Yep. Agreed. Let's move we'll, forward. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. Twelve. S tier. I mean, they went undefeated. What do you want? What what Nate? Yeah. What negative can you say about it? Yeah. They went undefeated. Did they ever look good okay. doing it? No. Did they beat anyone of any real note that year? Not really. Would they have, if they um, had the opportunity to go play in the, in a national championship game, would they have lost? Almost certainly. Um, but they beat every team who they got on the field with. 
S tier. All right. Yeah. Gosh, I, I was looking at the coaches that year. Every coach except Luke Fickle, who is at Ohio State for his 11th season there, every coach there, it was either their first or second year at Ohio State as a coach. Yeah, I, Urban turned over, with the exception of Fickle, the entire and the entire offensive coaching staff was like Jim Tressel's buddies who had no business still being in college football. 2013, Kyle. Yeah. All right. 2013, uh, high expectations. You start off ranked two. And then you um, go 12 and two. You go, you go uh, 12 and one. You go 12 and one in the regular season. Beat Wisconsin. You beat Northwestern. You beat your, you beat your rival. Um, who did they lose to? They lost to, sorry, pulling it up here. Um, that's right. They go, they go into the Big Ten title game, undefeated. Oh, yeah. In the Big Ten, and they lose, to, they lose to Sparty in the Big Ten title game by 10 points. Man, Michigan State was a pain in our ass for like a three or so year stretch. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's still an A-tier season, yeah? I would think so, yeah. Shazier was a uh, first-team All-American. Hyde and Muir were second-team All-Americans. Uh, this was the first year of Braxton Miller, offensive. Um, uh, well, it wasn't, it wasn't the first year, but no. Braxton Miller was under uh, Urban. offensive player. That, no, still under not true. Urban, um, it was the second year. Um, offensive player of the year, for the Big Ten, and Carlos Hyde was running back of the year. It would be in 2014. It'd be four, 2014. It would be third year for Braxton Miller. Miller played yeah, yeah. in the forgotten third? season, and then you're the right. undefeated season, year. and then this yep, would be right. the third year. Yep, yep, you're right. All right, in 14, we don't need to go into that. That's that's an S tier as well. We're just going to keep it at that. Um, Everyone knows what happened in 2014. They. They should. I don't know, how how have we not had like an actual documentary for that season yet? All right, fifteen started off preseason one, finish up fourth. You go twelve and one. You. This is the year that they played nobody. Like everybody sucked that year that <laughs> that Ohio State played. They played no ranked teams. Except two until they came, until they came up to Michigan State where they lost, and then they did beat um, Michigan. Uh, they did beat Michigan that year as well too. So they because they lost to Michigan State. Michigan State went on to the uh, Big Ten title game. So they has they didn't get a chance to um, to go back to back years in the Big Ten, but they did go on to, to beat up Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl again. This year, I'd say, just, I'd say this is a. I'd say this is a. They, they were three points. They were three points away. They lost by three to Michigan State. They should have ran the ball more. But, but this team should have won the national title. And we also need to just mm -hmm. talk about how they just didn't look like they gave a shit. I'm sorry. This team didn't give a shit. They 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 had won their national title and they were floating through this year. The loss to MSU was inevitable. And, and they they, were, they, they would just, lose not necessarily to MSU, but to somebody. And they, I'm they sorry, this is a B tier rock. team. If we're, if we're counting yeah. expectations, for, for, if we're playing how, expectations into this, Kyle, this team had no business not winning the, the national title, let alone the Big Ten title. I'm sorry, expectations have to play into this. And this team massively failed based off of its expectations. They lost by they lost by three points at the on, the only loss they were they were ranked one all the way until they they lost to against um, a nothing schedule. They, yes, but they were ranked one all the way through, and they they beat up uh, Virginia Tech. They beat up everybody that they came across until, like, like you said, they. 
as the year went on, they had a close victory over Minnesota. Um, and, and then they did lose to Michigan State um, uh, later on in the We couldn't uh, decide which quarterback there, we wanted to play. And everybody was... The offense looked disjointed. That, like, oh, oh, Tim Beck was Brexton, ruining Brexton, everything. Bre- Braxton might be able to throw. We might be able Never to... Never threw. Kept, te- kept teasing about that, though. But my in my mind, I think it's an A tier. Such a talented, talented team there. That's but uh, that's the Bosa, that's the problem. Bosa, Elliot, Apple, Decker, that's Lee, the problem. Thomas, Bell, Braxton Miller, Nick Vanette. You're making Josh my Perry, case. Cardale Jones. They this had no business. Team. They had no business it's, it's, not it's winning the Big Ten. I'm I'm giving it to it's you, an but I disagree. Okay. Right. I'm I'm it letting you have it, but I disagree. All right. Moving on to 16 season. Uh, preseason six, finish sixth. You go eleven and one in the uh, season. Uh, lose in the Fiesta Bowl in the college football playoffs uh, to Clemson. Their single loss in the in the season was against Penn State, and because of that, they didn't get again. Did not get a chance to play in the Big Ten title game. But you do beat um, Michigan that year. Uh, beat Oklahoma. Beat Wisconsin, and you did beat um, Nebraska as well. All, all top, all uh, top fifteen victories here. Very talented team, but it was a complete no show in the pre, in the postseason. Yeah, I, th- I think I think this one you put in B tier, just because of what happened in the. Um, uh, in the postseason, complete no show in sixteen. Okay, um, sixteen, B tier. All right, all right, seventeen. Start off preseason two. Gosh, every year here, moving on forward since two thousand seventeen, Ohio State has preseason ranked fifth or better. Uh, from 2013 uh, until 2023, which you can extend to 2024 as well, they were top five preseason AP every year, except in 2016, where they were number six. six. Correct. Yeah. All right. So 17 preseason two finished fifth, went 10 and two losses to um, number five, Oklahoma. Uh, Buckeye fans will remember that loss, especially at the end of the game. And and here here's the start of the urban the urban loss this year. This one was to Iowa. I'm sorry, but the MSU loss. I, I don't care that MSU was ranked number nine. Ohio State was ten times more talented than that Michigan State team. I'm sorry. Fair. You're, and also you're right. Penn. You're right. Also the were, Penn State yeah. loss. Penn State wasn't ranked. I know it's Penn State. I know the uniforms are there, but they weren't ranked. It wasn't a good Penn State. It was I mean, it was a good. It was, it was just a Penn State team. It was a subpar Penn State team. And by the way. Virginia Tech in 2014. This is just who Urban was. Sorry. Urban dropped a game. Virginia Tech, Michigan State, Penn State, Iowa, then Purdue. Dropping stupid games. But you do get the victory um, in the Cotton Bowl against USC as a consolation prize. I, I'd still, I'd still say this is a. I still, I still say even though with the two losses there, very talented team. You had, you had Price winning the Remington. Also, first All American Ward was first All American. Bosa second All American, which was BS. He should have been first. Uh, <laughs> Ward didn't he All-American. barely play that year, or was that the next year? No, that was the next year. Okay. Um. Yeah, very talented team. I think you got to put them in B tier. I I almost wanted to say A, but that that loss to Iowa. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel comfortable putting it, putting 17 in the B tier. 
All right. It's such a talented, talented team that year. Really, pr- pretty much every all, all of these teams upcoming are, are all very talented. Yeah. What yeah, am yeah. I saying? So, all right. 2018. 18. Preseason five, finish three. You go 13 and one. You go 13 and one. This is another one of those years where they they left Ohio State out of the college football playoffs. Um, beat beat four top twenty top twenty teams. You do lose that game to Purdue that everybody harked on for the rest Rightfully. of the year. Rightfully, yeah. Beat Michigan, who was number four that year, um, and you go back to back Big Ten titles this time against Northwestern, and you get a Rose Bowl victory over Washington. A year. very good Washington team. Mm-hmm. And this was this was that has this is that Haskins year. Haskins lit up the skies that year. Gosh, I, this is such a good team, and I'm pissed that they didn't. I, I want to put a. Yeah, I, I I know they had I know they had that one loss to Purdue, and it kind of, kind of sounds like I'm contradicting myself from the 17th season, but you're not. No, th- this 18 was a much better team than 17. I. They first off, they also lost in Oklahoma. Bosa, Bosa, Bosa got injured early on the season, and then all you had left was um, all you um, had left Young. was Nick Young. You had all you had was Nick Young. But think, think if Bosa wasn't hurt that year. Excuse me, Chase Bosa Young. Bosa and Young. Nick, Nick Bosa, Chase Young. Yeah, you had both of them on the field at the same time. That's that's what everybody was wanting to see, and it did not happen. But either way, I digress. 19. The 19 season, uh, copy paste. They preseason five, finished three, um, lots of top 25 victories. Didn't lose to anybody in the regular season. Beat Michigan, uh, beat Wisconsin in the Big Ten title. Uh, did lose that. To um, Clemson. Again. To Clemson. The third um, time in seven years, losing your bowl game to Clemson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. That that does have to be said. But you, you look you look at this um, the national awards here. A lot, very Young very talented. The but but, Gursky, they, the ben but they were they were competitive. They were competitive in in this game here. It was it was a twenty three to twenty nine loss to to Clemson there. So it's not a, it wasn't a blowout like it was the years prior to that. So you'll get some consolation to that, but it's still a loss. Um, This this was the interception in the end zone loss, right? Yep. It was where, um, was it by the way, it probably should also be said, this is Ryan day's first team. Um, this is Ryan Day's first team. This is, um, God, who, who was it? The Was it, who broke off the route in the end zone? Anyway, moving forward. Um, but yeah, the, there was a silly communication mistake. Wide receiver breaks off the route in the end zone. Um, throws an interception. You lose the game. It it sucked. It's not like you definitely win otherwise because it's not like you could have just got a field goal. Um, yeah, it's this was a really really good team. They had an opportunity to win it on the last drive and they just just didn't. And that's football. You want to know who that was? Please. You want to take a guess? You want to take a guess? I was, who that I was, was? just trying to guess for like the past minute. Chris Olave. It was Chris Olave. So, yeah, it is. It is what it is. Um, a tier. Yeah. Yep. It's I, an A tier. If you did anything lower, lower than A tier. All right. 2020 season. We played eight game. played eight games this year. Um, went two and two. Um, or not two and two. You went seven and one preseason two. finished the season number two. 
two top 20 victories um no bad losses you um did not get to play michigan they chickened out that year uh did have the big 10 uh victory over northwestern so you went on to um you went on to the college footballs undefeated at 6 and 0 beat clemson or beat clemson yeah you, you got you got the victory over clemson beat them by 21 points by the way yeah but alabama does alabama things and was was the much more talented team and we all we all knew that going in it needs to be stated that ohio state had one contact practice in between clemson and alabama due to covid shit they and on top of that we know what the defensive coordinators weren't doing on that team um yeah. Um I'm I'm still willing to put it A tier. Yep. I'm good with A tier as well. 21. Preseason four, finished sixth in the AP. They were eleven and two in the in the years or in the um in the season. First loss to Michigan since two thousand and eleven. First first loss. You have wins over Penn State, Purdue, and um, Michigan State, but you do lose your two losses were against Oregon and Michigan. So no victory over the, uh, your rival. The Oregon no loss was embarrassing big, too. That needs to be mm, stated. Yes, no, no Big Ten title, but we do have that memorable Rose Bowl game against Utah. I'm sorry, I don't care. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say this is. <sighs> It's I think this here. is B. B, yeah. I couldn't have put it any lower than that. All right, and last two last two years here as I try to do this real quick. 22 season, 11-2, and two, preseason two, finish fourth, beat Notre Dame and Penn State, lose to Michigan, and you lose in the last second field goal to Georgia in the semifinals there. I know we lost to Michigan and that's going to make what I'm about to do controversial. This was such a good team. You lost by a field goal to Georgia, who was the best team in the country that year. It, Ohio state and Georgia were the best teams in the country that year. You had a chance to, you just didn't, you just didn't get the field goal. That sucks. But man, I this is such a solid A tier team. I almost want to S tier them. No, nah, you can't put. I'm not. You can't put S tier on you, in a you team. Don't, you don't beat your rival. You, in a you team, don't. You don't win the Big Ten. I, in a you year, don't you, one of those you, things. In a year, you don't beat Michigan. You can't be an S tier team. I agree. But this is such a solid A A tier team. Agreed. Hundred percent. That's probably the best A tier team, probably. Uh, I we we don't have time to. to I, I know. Parse that. I know. And then the twenty three, and then the twenty three season, uh, beat Notre Dame and Penn State, top ten victories. Uh, it's just rinse and repeat from last year, pretty much. You well, your only losses to your 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 only loss was to Michigan. You. Don't go to a Big Ten title game and you lose in the pre in the uh, postseason. No, no one gave a shit about. No, I I, I agree. I, I agree. Yeah, um, I I agree. So, but this one, geez, I, I I guess yeah, it's I probably put B tier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, suffering from expectations here a bit, um, for sure, because. It's still like at the end of the day, it's still a pretty good season, except that you lose to Michigan. Um, and I don't care about the bowl game. You still finish top 10. Man, I just feel like we were like a quarterback away. Uh, a quarterback and an in offensive in, in, tackle. In offensive line. <laughs> Specifically a tackle. Get, get, get me a get me an offensive tackle 
and uh, just just give me CJ Stroud and um Paris Johnson just left the year previous too, right? If you mm-hmm. get Paris yeah. if you get Paris Johnson and CJ Stroud to come back, that this is a this is a national title team. But you didn't. We weren't at that point yet where that NIL money was flowing and you could get guys to miraculously come back. Not that I think either of those guys would have come back either. They were, they went, they both, did they go top 10, both of them? Top 15 at least, right? Where did Paris Johnson end up going? We don't need to look it up. It's fine. Um, Yeah, he he was, he was like top 10. I thought so. Um, But yeah, I'm, yeah. Kyle. If you had to guess, yeah, six. He was sixth. Okay. If you had to guess, where 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 will we end up? Be where where will we end up putting this twenty four team? S tier. Yeah, I feel the same. S-tier. I honestly do. And we only get an S tier team four times out of thirty years. So we will see. Kyle, do you have anything, in Kyle's corner? Um, I know I hit you with that very quickly with no, with no warm up. <laughs> um, I don't actually <laughs> I have not, I have not, I did not prepare to talk about anything. So, um, we're just going to end it there because we are over an hour into this episode. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Okay. Actually, no, no, something okay. really cool. He's got something. Saw. Sorry, guys. He's got something, something really cool. Uh, the Los Angeles Chargers signed a former Ohio State club football wide receiver. Uh, praise, um, praise Ol- Olatok, I think is how you say it. Okay. Uh, he, he, he used to play over in Africa in the NFL's international pathway program. Okay. Um, but yeah, he, he signed, he signed with the LA Chargers, uh, just a few days ago. I thought That's... that was really cool. It was the first, first player from the, Ohio State club football team to get signed to an NFL team. That's legitimately pretty cool. Um, Hey, why wasn't he on the actual team? Feels like if you could, have, if you could make the practice squad for the chargers. Anyway, I don't know. I just, just, I'm just asking questions. Well, he, he, he was, um, he was part of the Ohio state track and field too. So I don't, I don't think that has anything to do why he couldn't play for the yeah. football team. If I, you could play for club football, you could, unless maybe the track coach told him he wasn't allowed. I don't know. I don't I'm know. Sure. Maybe there's a story to it. I don't know. Um, all right, Kyle, is that the end of today's show? That's it. All right. Tonight's ending music brought to you by a Columbus-based band called The Cordial Sins. That's right. The Cordial Sins will be ending today's show. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are The Cordial Sins. 